All right, so the other day I was doing a video bucking up and I was complaining about my bar pressures, uh, my, my, my chainsaw bar not being right. And what we're calling the hot dog is this thing in the jig right here. And you could put nitrogen in that, right? Yeah, yeah, it'd work and it better with nitrogen. And instead of us carrying nitrogen around and everything, we just put compressed air in there out of the air compressor. You take this off, there's a Schrader valve, and we're pumping like 150 PSI of air in there. And that's what gives you back pressure on your saw, right? Yep. It, it's what controls how fast the saw comes back, right? Yeah, it's the right. return. Yep. It's the return for how fast your bar comes back. And if that's flat, your bar will actually just lay it limp. Down. Yep. It just lays limp. So, Taters come up with this hillbilly method on getting... Okay, so the way this system works is... <laughs> This machine is a valve in a valve in the head. So when you hit the button in the cab, it opens up oil flow out here to the head, and it comes out on the key on the pressure side. The oil comes out, and it returns back to the tank side. But that's just supply oil. Inside here, it sends an electric signal out that's inside this hose, and then it actuates the valve. So when you hit the button to saw, it, it just sends oil out to the head and then opens up and then sends oil to the saw motor. Okay, well there's like three things that has to happen. You only got one, so this is where your supply comes out. But what it's gotta do is it's got to spin the chain, it's gotta feed the bar, and it's got a tensioner chain. So you got all three things that's gotta happen when you hit just one button. Well the way Robotech does this or whatever, is it comes out of this hose, comes into this head, and uh, it won't, won't. the oil on the way out of the out of the motor, the oil on the way out of the motor, it's a restriction. Where's your piece at? It's in the shop. Well, Stevie will show you the piece here in a minute, but when the oil's on its way back to the tank, it hits a restriction, an orifice, and that back pressure is loads up in uh, this hose right here and comes through here actuates this valve and pushes the saw blade down that actuates the cylinder to bring the saw blade down also your case pressure inside this housing is your sprocket speed well that's your chain tension that comes out and it tensions your chain so your chain gets tight bar comes down and it spins but what happens is is the den den only has a certain amount of flow so depending on however many gallons per minute you get at what pressure you've got to modify this orifice to either spin your chain faster or feed your bar harder does that make sense and also the hot dog steve is talking about the back pressure on your hot dog it controls how much back pressure there is on your chain feed also so by doing all that he's come up with this hillbilly method of just sticking washers to choke it down to choke it down which is adding pressure back here and up there for your bar and your chain speed and your tensioner and through our hillbilly method stevie will show you but through our hillbilly method it can move and over choke and i actually got him over choke right now and the bar is actually feeding faster than the chain spinning yeah the bar is putting more pressure down than which, what the chain can feed and that's a stock chain so i can't go and modify my chains because it's sticking on a stock chain. So when I put a modified chain on, it just instantly hangs the saw. Yeah, and it works on Stephen's stress level. Yes. It goes through the roof. Yes, yes. I get all kinds of pissed off whenever that happens. Yeah, nine times. Yeah. Who so, gives a shit? Yeah, who gives a shit? Go in there and show me how I got to line this up. So, so this here's the piece that actually we took out that he's modified. And if you look down inside there, you can see the, the lock washer kind of sitting crooked. And what we're thinking is, is being that that scooted over, it's choked it down too much, so we just need to scoot it back over and line it up. You know what, the idea behind it, the lock washer was when we put it together and we sandwiched this all tight, that the lock washer is supposed to put pressure on it to hold them steel, but obviously it didn't hold it enough or else it had it somehow shook loose and then blocked its own hole. You're trying to say I'm a rough operator. And it's constipated. It was, yeah, I didn't, I didn't have no problem with it. So, all I gotta do is line it. That did move quite a bit. 
So I just need to stick a pick in there and line them up, tighten them back down, and hope yeah. it fixes Yeah, oh yeah, it. that's a whole watered out mess. See take it? a while, take it out and redo it. Now here, here is our conglomeration. Oh, you even filed yeah. that one. That is custom filed. And look, here's a lock washer that he had in there. I'm gonna leave the dirt on there. Maybe that'll help it stick. Yeah, the dirt will help. And the hydraulic system always had to have a little bit There of was dirt. another one, wasn't there? Yeah, I got it in my hand. All right. So then the fattest one went first. Yep. Then you had the lock washer and then another. Oh, the lock washer, the fat one went on this, didn't it? Lock washer, I'll go between the two of them. That's the safest place. That's where it was. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You had it in between them. Oh, the twixt. Yeah, now we need to pick. Okay, we're not gonna discuss what, what kind of ink pen that is, if, but. If Bruce Jenner opened a uh, farm store, would it be the Rural Queen? Rural Queen? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. Just, just a question. Just uh... Now, how do you know it's gonna be straight? Cause you got your uh, pen stuck in a hole. Your pen is stuck in a, oh yeah. Oh. I got my pen in the back door. You got your pen shoved in my back door, Steven. Yeah. All right, let's see. Straight? It's better. I, now, I don't think see. it's going to stay, though. Well, we need to do better than that. We need yeah. to have a different design. Yeah. We need to go back to the hillbilly engineering. Yeah. What if I go get a piece of steel and drill a hole in it that fits, that, that fits right? snug yeah. inside there yeah. and yeah. the hole matches that lock washer? Yeah. Sound like a winner, or don't we? Or just do, do flat washers. We was out in the field and we didn't have a lock washer, or we didn't have the right, you know what I mean? If we put enough flat washers in there, this. Too big continued.